Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can automate the Outlook using the activities available in UiPath. So let's move to our agenda first. There I will show you what and all the activities that we are going to learn about today. So with this, let's move to our agenda. As you can see, this is our agenda. We will see how we can uh, send the mail message through Outlook, how we can forward the mail message, how we can uh, uh, get the mail message or read the email messages available in our Outlook inbox or any other folder. Then we will see how we can save the mail message, Outlook mail message in different different formats. And then we will see how we can uh, use the reply to Outlook mail message activity to reply over some specific emails. And then we will see how we can use the move mail message activity to move a mail from a particular folder to some other folder. So with this, without wasting any time, let's move to the UiPath Studio. There we will implement all these activities and learn about them. Alright, so I am in the UiPath Studio now. Here, first of all, uh, if the mail message package is not downloaded in your uh, project, so first of all, you have to go to the Manage Packages. Then you have to go to the All Packages. Here you have to search for UiPath.mail and then that package will be come up over here as you can see uipad.mail.activities and then you have to click on install and save this package will be installed in your uh, project so for as of now this project is already installed so i'm just cancelling it and we will focus on our activities that we are going to use so first of all we are going to use the send mail message activity so what i will do here is i'll come up over here and i'll just type send outlook and double click on that here we have to define the two field like to whom we are going to send the email so let's create the variable over here uh, the variable let's make it as to mail and the value will be our outlook email All right now let's pass it over here to mail and just make the subject as test and we can define the body over here so let's suppose we'll write it as I UI path and break tag all right this is a test email okay so in the properties what we have to do is we have to make the bodies as html we'll mark it as checked and here we can set the importance of the email and here we can send set the sensitivity of the data whatever is available in the email and here if uh, multiple emails are configured in our outlook we can define a one account so from that account the email will be sent if we will uh, leave it as blank so the outlook will send the email from the default email which is configured in the outlook all right i'm leaving it is blank as of now in my outlook only one email is there so with this now let's go to the outlook as well Okay, here the email is already there, so let's make it as empty. Now go to the UI path and debug it. Okay, it looks something is wrong, so let's go to the properties. Okay, if we are doing something wrong, subject, body. right everything is looks fine okay so the email which we have defined in the two email field is not actually an email address so we have to make it as at the rate outlook.com all right now let's run it again ok 
okay the execution is done now let's move to the outlook and if i'll go to the sent items you will see this email is sent just now at 4:46 and the content uh, the subject is test the greetings is hi eva this is test email and this is ending greetings so this will take some time to reflect in the inbox okay this came to inbox now you can see this is how we can use the send outlook email message activity to send the email now let's move to our next activity which is forward email message activity so before forwarding we will look into how we can get the email messages from the outlook or how we can uh, read the email messages okay because uh, while forwarding it we need the mail message object which we do not get until and unless we will get the email messages so for that we have to get the email message now let's get mail message activity okay so from where it has to read the email we have to define it the account so the account is to mail okay and the folder is inbox and here we can mark it as checked uh, if we want to read only uh, read only the 100 messages from the inbox if we want to read all the messages whatever is available uh, no matter whether it is read or unread then we can mark it as un uh, unchecked and here we have to define one outlook variable so let's message all right so let's comment it out and let's take one for each activity here we'll take this one and mail message okay now the type argument is defined already here what we can do is message box in this message box from the current item we can get different different properties like we can get the attachments of the mail we can get the body of the email we can get the cc we can get the date at what date and time the email has been received and there are many more activities we can get the from address from which address this email has been received okay we can get the sender of the email we can get the sender email address and the sender name the subject of the email so all these things we can get from this current item object mail message object so let's get the subject only for now all right and this is it now let's debug it Uh, as of now we have only one email in the inbox so it will iterate only one time and it will show the subject of that particular email was available in the inbox all right you can see this is this this was the subject of email test so this is how we can get the outlook mail messages from the outlook using get outlook mail message activity now let's see how we can forward the emails okay let's just delete it uh, let's kept it as we have only one mail message and let's delete this one and move it inside control e and what is the mail that we want to forward in this case we will leave the subject and body as blank and we will paste our uh, we will Uh, give the address to whom we want to forward this particular email which is coming from this get outlook mail message activity and here in the properties i'll show you one property this uh, where it goes this forward here we have to define that object so this is current item all right and uh, rest everything will be same now let's debug it you will see one more ms mail message will come to the same account this time we do not uh, we did not have given the subject and the body the subject and body 
will be same uh, the earlier email which we have read from the get out to mail message activity all right so execution is almost done now let's go to the outlook here it will go to the sent item one email just now sent you can see at 16.52 it will soon reflect in the inbox as well with the new email so let's refresh it all right so you can see this email is arrived the subject is same whatever was earlier the body is all and same and this is the mail message that we have forwarded to the same account uh, this this mail message has been forwarded we haven't given the subject we haven't given the uh, what we can say the body everything we have uh, kept it as blank we just have given the address to which address we want to forward this email so this is how we can forward the email in outlook using the send mail message activity now let's move to our next activity which is save mail message activity so for that what we have to do is so first of all let's comment this activity and we will search for the activity save outlook mail message we'll take here here we have to pass our mail message object so that object is current item here we have to pass the folder path at what path we want to save that mail message and here we have to set the format so in which format we want to save that particular email in the outlook mail message format or the unicode format or dot mht format stm format or the uh, outlook template or the text format whatever the format is required as per the uh, as per our process or the business requirement we can save it and here we can pass the folder path at what path we want to save it so let's save it at the root directory of the project let's pass this path over there in the activity over save to the folder and okay we have to pass it in the double quotes so this is done now let's debug the activity again and soon you will see one mail uh, one msg file will be created over here once the compilation has been done for this process okay all right so execution is done now let's move to the folder and here you can see as we had two messages in the inbox uh, if i'm not wrong yes so here you can see we have two messages in the inbox so both are saved uh, as both email messages have the same subject so file is uh, saved with the default name as per the subject name so this is how we can save the email messages and now let's move to our next activity which is reply to mail message activity so we will use the same uh, reply to mail message activity first of all let's delete it one activity and just reply to outlook mail message take it over here here we have to pass our mail message object so that will be current item current item and in this we have to pass the body of our email so let's write it by tip we'll put the break tag all right br and let's copy this break tag let's go here paste it this is reply to my last email all right and let's go to the property of this activity here two interesting properties are like reply all or reply from so reply from here we can pass the uh, email address of the sender from whom we have get the email and we are we are going to reply to that same email sender and here we can choose the reply all so whoever will be there in the cc or in the two field will be will now be in the two field of this reply to outlook mail message activity and here we can set the new subject of the email if we will leave it as blank uh, so our subject will be the subject of this mail message object with the re colon keyword so i hope it is clear and if we will leave uh, this field blank so it will take the email sender by itself so let's debug it and see the result come 
here All right, so execution is done. Now let's go here. So just wait for a few seconds. Soon the mail will reflect in the inbox. All right, so as you can see, the email is reflected. This is our email body, and this is the subject. As we have left the subject as blank, so this subject is taken with the keyword re colon. So this is how we can reply to the existing email, whatever is there in our inbox. Now let's move to our last activity which is move mail message activity. So for that let's comment this activity and we will minimize it. Here we will search for that move mail mail message. So this is our activity move outlook mail message here we have to pass the out uh, the mail message object and here we have to pass the folder in which folder we want to move it so under inbox we have a folder called testing we'll move this particular email in that folder so if I'll show you over here you can see uh, we have a testing folder which is already empty and we have just done the configurations in the properties you can see here we have to pass the email account uh, from which we are dealing so let's pass it okay we already have created the variable so we'll pass it over there so now let's debug it and soon you will see this uh, email whatever is there in the inbox will be moved to the testing folder all right so execution is done let's go here and refresh it Okay, you can see in the inbox there is nothing and if you will check in the testing both the emails are moved to the testing folder so this is how we can move the uh, move the email message from one folder to the other folder so with this we are done for the day I hope you enjoyed the video please like and share the video and also not forget to subscribe the channel in case if you are having any query regarding this topic or any other topic write your comment in the comment box I'll try my best to answer your queries We'll meet in our next video. Till then, bye-bye.